Fit Fam. Today's guest on Neri's Kitchen is owner of Santorini Restaurant and Catering, located at 1839 Portage Avenue, specializing in authentic Greek cuisine. Today I have Tanasi to share his family recipe on how to make moussaka. Hello, thanks for having me, Neri. Thanks for joining me. I'm excited to do this. And uh, let's get started. Okay, let's get started. All right. Let's first wash our hands. Absolutely. Okay. There you go. Always have to make sure we have clean hands first. Absolutely. And Tanasi, can you tell us what is moussaka? Moussaka is uh, a, a very popular dish in Greece. And it's, uh, it's one of my favorites as well. Uh, it's layers of uh, potato, eggplant, beef, and a bechamel sauce on top. Okay, sounds yummy. There you go. All right. All right. So first, we're gonna have, we're gonna get a tray. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put layers of potatoes, and then the eggplant, the ground beef, and the bechamel sauce. Okay. So first, let's start with the potatoes. Okay. We'll get, we'll peel some potatoes. Sure, and how many potatoes? Uh, let's do all of these. Okay. Yeah, should be good. So this is about a, like a pound and a half of potatoes, two pounds? Around there, yes. Okay, right. so peel these. And then, and then while that's happening, I can cut the onion here. Sure, so I'll get you a cutting board. Yeah, I'll do this. There you go. Okay. Perfect. I'll get a garbage bowl. No worries. And are we so, chopping the onions or? Uh, we're gonna chop them nice and thin. Okay. So we're gonna saute them mm -hmm. uh, first, get a little nice little color of them, and then we're gonna put we're gonna add the beef in there. Okay. Same with the garlic. Okay. Okay. So we're just gonna do so I'm gonna like, it like this. And you have moussaka at your restaurant as well? Yes, we uh, we sell it for sure. It's one of our popular dishes as well. Okay. Um, usually people in Greece uh, make that dish for like a special occasion or mm -hmm. it's like a big family uh, dinner mm -hmm. gathering or just a reason to do it, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's uh, one of the top ones, just like with the souvlaki and the gyro as well, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. So when you go to Greece, people want to try that there. I've actually been to Greece. Oh yeah? Where have you been? I've been to Zakynthos. Nice, nice, nice. And I've been to... Beautiful there, huh? So beautiful. Very quiet. Yeah. I wasn't really too sure what to expect in Zakynthos, but I found it like... Um, it was kind of secluded, but I needed something very quiet when I went to Greece. Yeah. And then I took a ferry over to Mykonos. Mykonos, yes, yes. Which was very different from It's totally Mykonos. different, yeah, yeah. I just found it very, um, very lively. Yeah. It was kind of like a big party. Yeah, it's so like the Las Vegas of Greece. <laughs> it was like the Las Vegas of Greece. It was yeah, very fun. Much. I was there in 2017. Okay. And uh, we'll just say that. <laughs> <laughs> But it's very beautiful, very beautiful country. Of course, of course, the beaches, everything. Yes. And the then, weather obviously helps. Oh my gosh, it was really hot. And then I also took another ferry to, over to Santorini. That's where I, yes. I finished off my Greece vacation yeah. in Santorini. Santorini is uh, is known for uh, the romantic the views and yes, everything, right? Yes. Yeah. It's funny you say that because I actually hiked for yeah. four hours in oh, Santorini wow. just to go in the see hot the, weather. In the hot weather, just to see the sunset because I heard that a very popular place to see it was in Oya, I think. Oya, oh, yes, yes, yes. That's and a so capital. my friend told me this hike was only an hour and a half, so I believed her, right? Yes, yes. It was a four-hour <laughs> hike, and I couldn't of believe course. that my friend made me hike for four hours in a mountain with no food. But it was definitely worth it. It was worth it at the end. Yes. So while that's done, so I have the onions already chopped. Okay. So I'm going to cut the potatoes. Mm -hmm. Do the next little stuff over here so it's flat. Quarter of an inch. Okay. And then these will go in the frying pan. Okay. Well, there's a lot of ways you can do it. You can do put it on the frying pan. You can um, put them in the oven. Or you can actually uh, boil the potato. And it's, totally all, it's all preference, right? So you can fry it, bake it, or... Uh, boil it. Or boil it. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to fry it on today's Absolutely. episode. Okay. So I'll get a frying pan ready for you. Okay. And is it a deep, uh, a deep fry or just a pan fry? Oh, just a pan fry. Okay. Just want to get a nice color to it, okay. and that's about it. On high heat or medium? I uh, do high heat. High heat. Okay. There you go. Well, that's happening. I'm going to do this. Fry it, bake 
Antonasi, were you born in Greece? I was born here, but then my parents decided to move to Greece mm -hmm. just so I can uh, get the Greek culture, get to know my family and mm -hmm. everything, right? And then uh, we lived there for seven years, and after seven years, they decided to come back here. Okay. And since uh, 96, we yeah, have we've been here, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I still go to Greece for summer vacation. And right? where in Greece do you go? Uh, it's called Katerini. Okay. It's northern north of Greece, mm -hmm. mainland. Um, the second biggest city is Thessaloniki. It's like an hour away, so it's up by the mountain Olympus where all the Greek gods used to live. Okay. But yeah. Interesting. I would love to go back to Greece. Me too. Me too. Once this thing is all over, I'd yes. love to go back there. <laughs> What was your favorite? What did you eat in Greece while you're out there? Basically, the same what my parents always cook. So it hasn't changed anything. It just added more stuff now mm -hmm. since I moved to Canada. But that's about it. Yeah. Okay. So I have the potatoes ready. I got the onions ready. So once the oil starts going, okay. we're gonna put the potatoes in there. All right. And then actually we can put a pot so we can put the so we can uh, saute the the onions. In a pot? Yeah. In that. That is fine. Okay, saute it, you said? Perfect. Okay, so I'll start this burner here. All right. Excellent. While I was out in Greece, yes. what I had every day in the morning, it was really hard for me to find protein. I was, it was hard for me to find meat. So really, I had yeah. Greek yogurt with honey every morning. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. so I can get some yes, protein. Yes, yes, yes. And then at the end of the day, I always had a baklava. Baklava, yeah? Yes. Yeah, my yeah. friend got me addicted to it. At first, I, I thought it was a little bit too sweet, but then I, I tried. It was just so rich, so yummy. Yes. So I had it every day for 10 days. Oh, my God. For 10 days. Filo <laughs> pastry with some like uh, the nuts and stuff like that and some yes. cereal on top. Also, another popular dessert or first thing in the morning is like called something called bugatza it's like a creamy cream pie okay but it's it's, it's amazing with some chocolate milk mm -hmm. you can't go wrong with that <laughs> all the greeks will know what bugatza is okay all right so if the oil is still going probably not right now. it gets hot pretty fast yeah yes we'll put that. so see this yeah this is it so yeah there you go okay so we'll fry the potatoes so get a nice as, as long as it gets a nice color just put it like that. Like Should that. I start the oven too? Might as well, yes. And bake it at what? Uh, let's do uh, 300. 300, okay. There you go. Can I start the carrots for you? So, yeah, we can do that carrots too as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to chop it really thin as well. And then, actually, if you if you don't mind, crush uh, the uh, shred the tomatoes. Oh, shred the tomatoes! I can do bowl, that. In a bowl, and then I can do the the carrots. Okay, I'll start that. Let's go. Just shred it like this. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And this one here for the for the carrot that's going to be mixed with the ground beef. So when we do, when we're gonna cook our ground beef, we'll do the, we'll add the carrots in there as well. I've, uh, is this right? How it's shredded? Yeah, that's yeah, fine. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. I've never. It's, actually... just, it's just mostly for uh, sauce for the, the ground beef. I see. Okay. I've never yeah. shredded tomatoes before. Yeah. Just to give it a little, little bit of flavor and some juice, I guess. Okay. And all three tomatoes? Uh, or just the let's one? do. Well, let's do one more. Just to give it a little more sauce. There. That's all. So what are your plans for today, Tanasi? Uh, on long weekend. On long weekend. <laughs> well, it's EDC weekend. It's unfortunate I think I canceled, but uh, there's a virtual EDC, so I think I'll be uh, doing that today. Watch some DJs live. Calm down a little bit. Calm down a <laughs> I just want to get outside today. It's beautiful. I know. It's a beautiful day today. But, yeah, yeah. Let's check on the potatoes here. Do a spatula, can A spatula? Yes, over here. Okay. Let's check here. Oh, yeah. May I ask the audience? Where they go for the food? There you go. 
getting a little bit of a color, which is Fit good. Fam, I'd like to hear from you. Where do you guys go for Greek food? Let me know in the comments below. Santorini, 1839 Portage Avenue. <laughs> I heard it's good. How long has your business been opened? My parents uh, opened the restaurant in 2000. In 2000? Yeah. So it's like a little small little place. But then, uh, obviously, I, I want them to retire. So it's the process of me probably taking over. So I just joined there a year ago. Two years ago. Okay. Yeah. And business has been good? Uh, well, I'm trying to make the most out of it, right? So right. far, you can't complain. But mm -hmm. with this COVID-19, mm -hmm. obviously, everybody took a bit, to take a bit, right. uh, big of a hit. But right. uh, thankful that a lot of people are supporting local these days. So mm -hmm. we're, not, uh, we're not as bad. And do you deliver too? No, we do not deliver. Uh, just pick up or uh, the catering for sure. If it's like a big order, we definitely will bring it. To you. We'll bring it, right? Okay. But yeah, there you go. So once the potatoes are done, we'll take them. We'll take them out. Okay. So give it a little bit more. Yeah. A little bit longer for color. A little bit longer. Yeah. Okay. Another two minutes. Two more minutes. And we should be good. And then in the pot, this one is, is going right now, right? Right. Okay, I'm going to put, I'm going to add the onions. Okay. There you go. There you go. Let's give it a nice little color there. There you go. It's okay with the little carrots in there. That's fine. Because they'll all go together anyway. <laughs> exactly. This is a mixture for the beef. Or the, the onions, yes. Yeah. The potatoes are just a layer of the Oh, right, bottom. right, the yeah, layer. It's just a base. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, you get another minute, we should be good. And then we're just going to put that in this pan. Do we need to grease this pan before? Uh, or it should be okay? It should be fine, to be honest All with right. you. Oh, yes. There you go. All right, so that's going. I'm gonna have the carrots right here. We got the tomato crush right there. Perfect. I'm gonna do the garlic as well. So, do you have any plans to go to Greece, Tanati? I would love to go this year, but uh, obviously we can't. So, hopefully, next year I should be there. Okay. So if the family in Greece are watching this, <laughs> next year I next might be year. there. There you go. Do you need garlic? I got it. I got it. Oh, you have it? Yeah, okay. I have it already, already oh. cut. So can, I ask, can I ask you some questions? Absolutely. About Absolutely. What are those miniature, miniature churches next to the roads? Oh, uh, some of those churches are could be... Actually, to be honest with you, some of them could be because uh, there's an accident happened there, so they put like, a little church there, or so somebody probably died there. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, yeah. So how do I drink Greek coffee? Greek coffee. And what is that mud? Yes. What is that? Because I had Greek coffee. Yeah, it there's... stays at the very bottom, right? Yes. I I have no idea what it is, but like my my like my family drinks it, and then I see it in the end, I'm like, why is it so thick in the very bottom? Why? I have no idea. But, but they don't filter it, right? No, they don't. They put the coffee grinds and then they put the hot water. And then they, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's what it is, Bro, coffee grinds. Is it? Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. That's strong coffee. Very strong. Yeah. If I drink that, I'll go missing for like a week. So oh, I try not to. <laughs> All right, so the potatoes, yeah, they're, they're good. Got a nice little color, excellent. And this one will saute, perfect. So we can, I noticed that in Greece there was a lot of pastries. They, they served do, a yeah. lot of pastries and sandwiches. Yeah. They do uh, spanakopita. Yes. Uh, Lukanopita. Lukanopita is like a like a like a sausage, right? Mm -hmm. Ham and cheese in it. Mm -hmm. So this is off right now. It's it's still on. Okay. I can turn it off if you want. Uh, well, or we can just we take layer the potatoes it? and we can put the potatoes on here. Yeah, for sure. So one by one, we'll just layer it right now. Okay, I'll get you to layer yes, that. Yes, absolutely. So we'll take this. So we we'll just layer it. There you go. 
And of course, we we fried our potatoes, but you can boil the potatoes boil or them. bake it too. Absolutely. But for time's sake, we'll fry the potatoes. We'll fry them for now. And everything tastes better fried. Exactly right. There. There's a nice little base there. Yeah. All right. So now we can take some of the ground beef. Okay. And then triple it here. Which and we can use any meats too, right? Absolutely. We can eat. Beef is most popular, but people mm -hmm. in Greece use lamb. They use uh, uh, anything you like, but the most popular is the ground beef ground and beef. Uh, lamb. Ground beef, lamb, and can you also make this vegetarian if you didn't want Absolutely, to? Absolutely, yeah, that's a good question. We can, if you're vegetarian, take the beef off. You can put the potatoes, eggplant, then we can put zucchini, mushroom, and then the bechamel sauce. Perfect. So, yeah. All right, we'll take some of this. But I really like my meat, so I'm glad we're using beef. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that. We'll put that in there. Oh, with the onions. With okay. the onions, yes, absolutely. We'll cook it together there. Okay. Perfect. That's good. And I can turn this one off then? Yeah. Okay. So well, if you want to save some time, we can just put it there. Yeah. Okay. What's that? You guys have been in the same spot? Same spot. We haven't moved. Hopefully, it gets busier and open another franchise. Yeah. Yeah. Can't complain, right? You guys do takeout right now? Takeout right now, yeah. It's heavy takeout between four to eight. Uh, choose the calories. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, excellent. Yeah, it's much better, right? Yeah, it's just faster. Yeah. Let's do it this way. And then, since this is warm, let's warm one now, right? Yes. Okay. We'll just warm up the eggplant. Oh, do you want to use them this one? Yeah. Okay. There you go. So in the other pot right here, we're just uh, we already uh, took the eggplant, so we're just heating it up. And did you bake this eggplant? Uh, we baked them, yes, yes. Okay, yes. big eggplant that we're just heating up yes. in a pot. So as soon as the, the ground beef and uh, onions have a nice little color, then uh, basically all the layers are done. And then after that, we just uh, assemble the moussaka. Okay, perfect. I'm going to turn this up a little bit higher. No, yeah. Oh, I have a little yeah, guest yeah, with yeah. me. There you go. We are cooking ground beef for our moussaka. Eggplant, yes. But you can use zucchini also. You can use zucchini, you can use mushrooms. mushrooms. Any vegetable you like. There you go. Sorry? Is this your chef samples all the food you make? 100%. Is it, is it hard to get on a diet while being a chef? Uh, yes and no. <laughs> But it's all the fish is always there, right? Yeah. So you always want to. There you go. There you go. So once we get a nice color, we're gonna add the tomato, Our the tomato? fresh tomato. There you sure. go. Sure, I have it just behind you. Perfect. So with the moussaka, I know there's a lot of preparations and a lot of like dirty dishes after, but it's worth it. It's worth it? <laughs> yes. Do I just pour it in now or wait? Uh, give it two, two, two minutes, minutes? Okay. give it more color, and then we're just going to add that on top of that, and that'll be it. I'm just going to warm up the eggplants too as well. Sure. Make sure this is nice. Excellent. All right. Ask the audience if they make this. Who's ever made beef food? Who makes the food? Who's ever made beef food? So, uh, for the audience, do you guys uh, cook any Greek food at home? I want to hear some answers. I've tried to make Greek salad. I've tried, but I just bought the uh, 
the dressing from the store was not the same. Yeah. And actually, um, when I was in Greece, when I had Greek salad, there was no lettuce. That it's is just, correct. It's very basic. It's the cucumber, the tomatoes, the onion, and the feta. That is, uh, that's the tra traditional one. That's a village way. Greek. Some restaurants do offer that. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a village rest. It's a vi village uh, salad. Okay. No letters. They're just the vegetables. But the feta cheese was actually a block, a block of cheese. Yes, yes, and yes. And I couldn't believe how much blocks of feta I had. It was so, <laughs> it was so salty, but it was yes. really good. If that was some fresh baked bread yes. together, the juice. It's funny you say the bread because I learned in Greece that when they put a bowl of or a basket of bread in front of you, yeah. they charge you for the bread. <laughs> so I didn't find out yeah. until after the fact that I was paying for this bread this whole time. That's funny. Had I known, I wouldn't have eaten all the bread, right? So like you go to a restaurant here, you, the you bread's get for the free. Yeah. Olive Garden, you get the bread. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. all free. But yeah. there, they charge, they charge you for you, the yeah. bread. So now we got yeah. the color here. Mm -hmm. See, see, it's pretty cooked. So yes. I'm just gonna add a tomato just to give it more flavor and some juice in there. Okay. Make and it then it pretty much, yes, exactly. So we'll let it cook for another minute or two, and then the the beef stuffing, I guess, is done. There you go. And the eggplants should be, yeah, the eggplants are cooked anyways, right? So yes, we're just warming we're just it up. Just warming it up, yeah. So we'll probably need one more pot for to warm up the bechamel sauce. Sure. Okay. okay. I have a pot here. Yeah. Is this one okay, or do you want a bigger pot? Uh, we'll probably do it in two then, because uh, I have a bigger pot too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll just wash it. There you go. There you go. And what oh, is yeah. bechamel sauce, Sanasi? Sorry. What is bechamel sauce? It's just uh, milk, and uh, we just like thicken it up. So, and we put some a little bit of orange juice to give it a little bit of a uh, citrus flavor. Really? Yes. And then, if you want to, you can add cinnamon into the bechamel sauce or into the ground beef. Okay. Uh, that's totally your call, right? So it's a it's a cream sauce with cinnamon and citrus. Yes, yes, yes. I didn't know that. I thought it was a cheese sauce. Uh, some people do it. But the uh, way we, like, I I prefer it like that. So we'll put some, a little bit of orange juice, just to, like, give a nice little uh, flavor. To brighten it up. Yes. Excellent. So this is done, basically. Um, turn this off. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so here's our pot. All right. With that, and then we're going to... I already made the bechamel sauce. So just to save some time. There you go. Add that up. It's a little too much. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Sorry, sorry. Oh, that's okay. Put this right here. This is what happens in the kitchen. I know, I know, right? <laughs> you can't be clean, right? I always say just cook first and then you can clean up your mess after. Of course. That way you can enjoy it. Exactly, you can enjoy it. Cooking is supposed to be Enjoyable. therapeutic for some people, yes. right? All right. So, well, this is this is going? Yes, it's okay, on perfect. um it's on high. So, basically high. our setup is basically done. Now we're just going to assemble it. Okay. So, we already have the potatoes. Yes. The eggplants we're going to go next, mm -hmm. then the the beef, and then once this is warmed up, Basically, we're basically done. Okay, so let's put this here. Okay. So we have everything tongs ready. Right tongs. Yeah. yeah. All right. So here, you don't have to be. You just want to put them and they just cover the potatoes, right? Mm-hmm. Just layers like that. And how many eggplants did you chop up for this? Uh, I cut around three or four, three but or they're four. like pretty. They're because they uh, shrink. Once you right, cook them, right. they shrink, right? Mm-hmm. So there you go. This. Go. So let's evenly spread them, right? Sorry. There you go. Oh, I think it's still on, is it? Sorry? Yeah, it's still on the burner. Oh. I'll turn it oh. off. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Oh, yeah, I know that. Eh? This one Give is still food. going. Oh, yeah. it's probably high. There you go, thank you. Yeah. Sorry, I just turned it. 
There you go, perfect. So yeah. After this layer, go. what? After this layer, top? we'll put the ground beef. The ground beef. And then, if you do, you have cinnamon. I do have cinnamon. Yes. Yeah, we'll use like a smaller teaspoon. Okay. Just two. Cinnamon's here. Perfect. Teaspoon. There you go. Do I just put it right in here? Uh, no, just put it on top of there, just so. Oh, yeah. oh, right on top of the beef. You could do either or, but I'll just put it on. I did notice that it had a cinnamon taste. Oh, teaspoon. Okay. There you go. Perfect. Excellent. So just mix that up and it makes give it give it a little sweet flavor. this cover every cover. inch <laughs> as much as you yeah. uh, spread the flavor right yeah each bite. exactly there you go all right so now I need the, the beef there you go and this is a beef onion and tomato mixture correct so you put that everywhere like that again for the vegetarians, instead of the ground beef, you'll just put layers of zucchini, mushrooms, whatever you like. There you go. So that's basically done. I'm gonna give another minute for the sauce. We'll just top that up. Okay. Once that's done, we'll put it in the oven and we'll cook it for uh, half an hour to for, uh, half an hour for at uh, 300. Half an hour at 300. Okay. Yeah. Or you can just like watch till the sauce gets a nice. Color mm -hmm. and then once it gets the color, you know, because everything's pretty much cooked, mm -hmm. just turn the oven off, let it sit for like 10 minutes in there, take that out. And again, for uh, if you want to eat it right away, mm -hmm. just hold on for another 10 minutes, just take it out because the sauce is still running. Right, so you want so to set a little bit. I see. That. So the ones that the one that we already have, it's already cooked, so it's nice and thick. So when we cut it, you see the layers perfectly. Perfect. Okay. okay? Done. One more minute. One more minute. Done. Yeah. There you go. And how do you normally eat the moussaka? Do you serve it with bread or with salad? Uh, at the restaurant, we serve it with lemon potatoes and a salad. Oh, okay. It's really good. Mm -hmm. um, but some people want the fries. Some people just want the salad. Soup. It goes well with soup too, as well, right? What kind of soup? Uh, chicken lemon rice. Okay. Can't go wrong with that. Yummy. Right. All right. So now. We'll put that the sauce here as well. Look at that. There you go. We'll put that. There you go. Perfect. All right. Nice layers. Let's put it all there. Perfect. And then bake. And then another key thing, if you want to, I usually put a little bit of spread some parmesan on top. There you go. And then you bake it. And we'll that's our, mus it. our moussaka. Our moussaka. Yeah. Our moussaka. We'll bake this for 300 for 30 minutes or so. There you go. And for time's sake, we have one already prepared. <laughs> that, that was, was quick. quick eh? Wow. Te technology these days. Eh? <laughs> so if I can grab a plate and a knife. Yes. Here it is. And then a spatula. Yeah, you can. And then a knife. Sure. I have nice, oh, yeah. a large knife here. Oh, it's perfect. So what I usually do, is I'll probably cut it. Yeah, it's a big piece. So yeah, I'm going to do it one in the middle. And okay. then two on the side. Okay. So go like this. There you go. There you go. That's a very generous piece. Wow. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> well, we can divide that in again in like 
<laughs> two or four, whatever no, you no, like. No, no, no. I have a big appetite, so. <laughs> there you go. Get a spatula. And then you can go. Oh, sorry. I have to go around to cut that around. There you go. Just it. Separate it from the container. And then. The moment voila. we've been waiting for. So you can see all of the layers there. The sauce, the beef, the potato, eggplant. Yes. <laughs> and as the Greeks will say, Kalisa Sorixi means bon appetit. Oh, nice. We say it again. Kalisa Sorixi. Kalisa Sorixi. There you go. <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> Let's try this. There you go. All right, it's right in there. Sure. Oh, wow. That cinnamon really hits you. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Very tasty. Nice with it, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, RJ, I, you want some? I think my son wants some, too. There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks so much to Nasi for joining well, me on Nasi's Kitchen. Thanks for having me. It was a pleasure. It was awesome. It was fun. And remember, guys, support local. Oh. Santorini is located at 1839 Portage Avenue. Also, we're making our own tzatziki, the ATH tzatziki, authentic traditional home style. We, we're selling it uh, at the restaurant. We're also selling it at the Lucas on McGilvery. And we're selling it at the food fair on Cordon, Cavalier, and Arlington location. Wonderful. And I've tried it. It's very tasty. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys, for joining me. And stay tuned for next week on Neri's Kitchen, where we will have a chicken review, a fried chicken review. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a nice weekend.